Welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to study about choice of location for bridges, crossing, and design of bridge openings. Here are the some <coughs> number of points that we have to follow uh, in designing the bridge. It's uh, the topic number is four point two point three. The topic name is choice of location for bridge crossing and design of bridge openings. Number one point is the proposed route of bridge crossing should be as close as possible to the general direction of the design route. The next one is considering engineering and geological conditions this section of the river at the crossing location should be most convenient for construction of spot and approach embankment to the bridge number three is when choosing crossing location it is necessary to avoid or Okay, number three is when choosing crossing location, it is necessary to avoid or at least design for locations that may be undergoing change. Uh, number four point is the crossing should be at the most narrow section of the river and the smallest width of road plane if possible. The crossing should be avoid the island and branch arm of the river because they may change the flow of the river. Uh, number six is uh, the axis of the bridge should be normal to the river flow in the channel and flood plain. On navigation rivers, the bridge should be located on the rect rectilinear section of the channel and the number eight is because bridge crossing over large or medium rivers is expensive the design of highway direction should be in accordance with the crossing location where possible however in case of railways the location of the bridge crossing should coincide with the general direction of the railway line uh, number line there are almost four points of number point uh, nine point the cost of the bridge depends on the materials lens number and type of spots the length of the bridge and the number of spot are defined by the bridge opening during design of the bridge opening the following basic data are considered provision for traffic safety on the bridge which is achieved by creating safe conditions for bridge crossing and stable conditions for the passing of high water do not permit great affluent of the water created by the narrow openings maintain un un unobstructed shipping on the river for the stability of the structure, the opening of the bridge should not be less than the width of the navigation channel. Topic 4.2.4 The sequence of bridge design and comparison of alternatives. In this topic, we are discuss about the sequence of bridges design. Uh, in the comparison of alternatives, after determination of bridge opening, its scheme is designed and considered the approach of, to the bridge. The following should be considered conditions of navigation, cost of bridge construction and expenditure for material and labor. These are the three most important part that should be in mind before designing the bridge because uh, the condition of navigation, cost of bridge construction and expenditure for material and labor. These are highly affected in designing the bridge. For navigation rivers, the scheme of the bridge depends the clearance under the bridge.